हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू एज आई थिंक दिस इज द हाई टाइम बिकॉज एग्जाम इज जस्ट ऑन योर हेड सो आई थिंक वी शुड प्रैक्टिस सम मोक क्वेश्चन सो आई एम हेयर विद सम मोक क्वेश्चन ऑफ इंग्लिश these questions are very much similar to that of the questions which uh, questions have already come in exam so let us practice these questions and it will give you an idea how questions are going to appear in exam so let's start question number 1 question number 1 says reema said she would pick me dash at the bus stand in the evening so i think this is an easy one because must uh, it is you know must some time your friends must have pick up you right or you going to pick your friends right so i think it is it is an easier one so pick me up right to pick up is to take somebody from some place okay so reema said she would pick me up at the bus stand in the evening see sometime you can relate your question with options sometime you cannot so when you find that you cannot understand what the sentence is about then you try to uh, apply option elimination method see see the next question when are fruits dash enough to eat now if you are not able to understand the sense of the uh, or meaning of the sentence try to understand options see when are fruits full no full means to contain something in that cannot be here ready enough to eat and next options are ripe and mature now when they are talking about fruits we know that we can eat only ripe fruits right ripe fruits are fruits which are uh, sufficient or, or which are able to be eaten right so fruits because fruits is given i will choose ripe here when are fruits ripe enough to eat Now see the next question. She instilled that idea dash my mind. Now if you program something in your PCs or your laptops or some uh, programming you put in, so what you choose to put in, right? She instilled that idea dash my mind. In will be the right answer. She instilled that idea in my mind. Now see when some we cannot use to. on and into because to and on see if something is on my mind means i am continuously thinking about it right but here she have put in something in your mind so in will be the correct option now you must be thinking that why not into right we cannot use into because into is used when when we drop something in now here according to the sense of the sentence she instilled that idea dash my mind she haven't put anything in her mind uh, so that we cannot use into by using in we mean to insert something okay she hasn't put any object but an idea so we are using in next see next question workers dash to the head against ram and his misdeeds now see in the sentence it is very much clear that we are going against that means the sense of the sentence is a negative one so workers now see the option question complained informed asked see when we go against something and report something that means we are complaining so workers complained to the head against ram and his misdeeds now you must be thinking why not question workers question to the head against ram and his misdeeds see whenever their question is asked there should be one question mark but here no question mark it's just a full stop so complained now 
we cannot choose informed and asked because the word against is showing that some action has been taken here. So, workers complained to the head against Ram and his misdeeds. Next question C. TB has broken a dash in their city. TB has broken, it will come out. Now see why I have chosen out directly. Because when something is, you know, uh, strike like this. Okay, so we use broken out. The word broken out in the city means TB is, uh, you know, it is increasing day by day. And it, it, it is affecting people. So TB has broken out in their city. Broken in by and into they cannot hold here for that you have to understand the concept of these prepositions here okay so tv has broken out in their city see the next question a place was forced to make an emergency landing after it was hit by a dash of birds. Now because they have mentioned a dash of birds means group of birds and group of birds is called a flock. Right? So I will choose a flock of birds. You cannot say group of word, birds because group of birds is called flock. Okay, so flock will be the right answer after it was hit by flock of birds. See the next question. She has too many problems to deal dash. Now, when it is deal, we, when we are dealing, we can deal with something, right? So that something here is problems. She has too many problems to deal with this is a very uh, easy one she has too many problems to deal with here i want to tell you when it is t double o it means uh, more okay it means uh, greater in number i can say greater more okay this much greater that which is you know we use two in a negative sense always okay so it is this much greater this much bigger so that no one can handle okay or it is very difficult to handle so she has too many problems to deal with here i go with the next question and the next question is you should dash down your expenditure now what you what we should do to our expenditure we should reduce deduce cut or low now see if there is no word like down i can simply write you should reduce your expenditure but now because the word down is here, I cannot put word reduce directly. Next option is to deduce. Deduce means to uh, lower the one we are doing earlier. Now you should cut down your expenditure. Yes, the word cut down will be an accurate answer. You should cut down your expenditure. And low is also not a possible answer because low down cannot make sense. Low means to, uh, you know, do something less in amount. So the option cut down your expenditure will be the accurate answer. Next question says, she informed us that the auction dash plays the previous week. Now see, when we are talking about previous week means now the work is over, right? Informed and previous week, both of these words are telling us that now the work is over. Something which we have done in past, okay? So, was taking, no, because ING form shows continuity of any work. But here our work is not going on, it is now finished. Has taken now, I cannot use has taken as well because the work is here in past. So, my helping word, verb should be in past only. So, I will write had taken. She informed us that auction had taken place the previous year, week. Sorry, previous week it is. Means now the work is 
over and work is finished so friends this is it for today's session i hope this video will be useful to you and if you like this video please like share and subscribe our channel वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो इसे लाइक करें और अभी तक अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब करें और नई वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाएं।